Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America on the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network. Information on our guest always available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Since 1996, Nick Newland has been working with inner-city high school kids in the Washington, D.C. area in affiliation with the Folger Shakespeare Library. He's created a series of abridged Shakespeare plays called The 30-Minute Shakespeare. Joining us on This Week in America is Nick Newland. Nick, where art thou? I am here in Maryland, Rick, uh, looking <laughs> okay. out the window on my on my farm in Maryland called Imagine Acres, appropriately enough. That is, yes, and that's exactly what you've, uh, you're teaching these students in, in the program. I'm so excited to have you on the program and to talk about that. And let's go back to the, the genesis of this, because you've been doing it for a long time. Where did you get the idea, I'd like to take Shakespeare into the inner city and, and work with these kids and put on these 30-minute plays? How did that whole idea develop? Well, it was actually a kind of an all-in-the-family thing. Um, my mother was a, um, a teacher, a, a career teacher, and then she worked with the Folger Shakespeare Library in D.C. for a number of years in their education department. And, and she, along with a couple of other people from the education department, started a Shakespeare festival for D.C. high school students. And they particularly wanted to get some D.C. public schools in there because those are the ones that don't have necessarily a drama program and she did that program for a number of years and as, as it happened I went to grad school in theater in the early 90s and when I graduated with a degree in theater and an emphasis on play direction uh, my mother decided that she would turn the reins over to me of a program that she had started and I had already had an affiliation with the Folger Shakespeare Library as an entertainer because my wife and I Joanne and I were were career entertainers as a traveling gestures on the Renaissance Fair circuit for a number of years before I went to grad school in theater. So I came at it originally as a performer and then as an educator. And um, this particular school that I work at, Banneker Academic High School, I have been working at for 15 years, uh, going in about six months out of the year and working with one English class, either a ninth grade English class or a, or a senior English class, and basically preparing them for this student Shakespeare festival that the Folger Shakespeare Library puts on. The Folger Shakespeare Library has a great little Elizabethan theater, and um, they invite eight schools every day, four days out of one week and three out of the next week. So there are almost 60 schools coming to this Elizabethan theater and putting on 30-minute versions of Shakespeare plays as part of this festival. However, some people don't put on a 30-minute version of the play. They put on a mashup or a long scene. Right. But I've always loved the stories. And so from the get-go, I decided I was going to try and tell the story of the play from start to finish. Because what is interesting to me is that a character in any play, and particularly in Shakespeare plays, may start out one way. And then things happen in the plot, incidences happen that will cause a character to change, much as the way that happens in life. There are certain incidences that we have to react to, and I like the idea of a character changing as the story progresses. And so my goal was to tell the story of the play within the 30-minute time frame that the festival allowed. And that's basically how the 30-minute Shakespeare was born, because that was my time limit at the festival. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's a great website, and I encourage people to go take a look at it, 30minuteshakespeare.com. I was saying to Nick before we... Uh, we went on the air that I was watching some of the videos there, and I don't know who's having more fun, the students or Nick, and actually doing this. And the neat thing is, if you think, wow, this is something we'd like to try in our area, you've got all sorts of information there, how people can get the plays and, and put it on in their respective areas. So it's not just something that you're doing there. It's really something you like to spread across uh, the country. That's right, Rick. That's right. It's a template. The 30-Minute Shakespeare book series is basically a template for anybody who wants to put on a Shakespeare play with any level of experience to jump right in and do it because it has a section on how to put on a play. It has a section on exercises and games that students and young people can uh, engage in before putting the play on. And then it kind of has a scene by scene description of what we tried to do and what actually happened. So these are all based on on real-world experiences that I had directing these plays, which I then share with the reader. How is it when, when the kids first hear Shakespeare, they're like, Shakespeare, can't we do something a little more modern? And suddenly, in fact, in watching the videos, the kids are really getting into this. How, 
How interesting is that to see the actual development and the appreciation for Shakespeare, where they, they're really understanding the full essence of what this is all about? Well, Rick, a lot of times a student will hear the word Shakespeare and he or she will kind of cringe a little bit yes, because it yes. means puffy shirts, uh, tights, flowery language, and language <laughs> that they don't understand. So what we do is we start small and we start fun. One of the exercises we do right off the bat is a game called Tossing Insults, where one group will stand across from another group, and they will just basically yell Shakespearean insults at each other, like, you let vultures gripe thy guts, you know, and <laughs> other, other such insults. So you're getting the Shakespearean language into your mouth and using it, and just getting a feel for it, the way you would develop a taste for a foreign food or the way you would develop um, the learning of a foreign language. Because even though Shakespeare is in English, it's a kind of English that is a little foreign to us. So what we do is we start small and we start with everybody in a group so that nobody's on the spot. But the one thing we don't do is I don't stand up there and lecture to them. I don't stand up in front of the class and say, the, the, the way this scene works is this word means this and that means that. I let the students try and figure them, the words out and the sentences out on their own as they speak them. And we, we get different interpretations. And some of the interpretations are quite fascinating because they're, they come from the students themselves. We are, unfortunately, rapidly running out of time. Got a few seconds left with Nick. And we're going to have Nick back on the program. Nick Newland has been our guest. His uh, website is very simple, 30minuteshakespeare.com. Nick, just to, in sort of wrapping up here, this actually, you do a number of plays, so it's not just a particular play you do this with. You've got a whole repertoire of plays that you can choose from. That's right. Uh, after the spring, which we're doing Romeo, I mean, we're doing Julius Caesar and The Tempest, we will have had 16 plays in the series. Several of them are comedies, like A Midsummer Night's Dream. Several are famous tragedies, like Romeo and Juliet. And some are histories, like Julius Caesar. And all of them are plenty full of action and stage directions, as well as uh, ways that kids can get in there and jump in and put a hat and a cape on and really act it out as if they were living it instead of reading it or having it read to them. So it's, it's very action-y, it's very emotional, it's physical. It allows them to use their adolescent energy and... Um, you know, any, anybody who wants to, to work with kids in a dramatic setting and doesn't have any experience doing so, I'm providing this experience, and a lot of it is, you know, hard-earned in the schools themselves. It's an excellent program, and you'll find out about it at 30minuteshakespeare.com. Nick Nolan has been our guest on the program. You can go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and uh, link on to get all the information on Nick and the program, 30minuteshakespeare.com. Nick Nolan will be back in the program. We thank all of you for listening to This Week in America and the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network.